Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a little update. I'm officially eight months pregnant. I am 32 weeks and one day. Um, I know I say this every single time, but it is so surreal to have gotten this far. Um, it's just one of those perfect examples of how far faith will get you. I was told numerous times uh, that, you know, since I started bleeding so early on, we were expecting my baby to come a lot sooner, and I just always believed that God was going to allow me to stay pregnant for as long as it was safe for me to stay pregnant, that he was not going to cause my baby to come too early if that was not necessary. So the fact that I'm still pregnant makes me feel so extremely grateful. Um, because I know that there's so many parents out there that face having their babies born extremely premature and it is so difficult to just have your baby be born premature period to have them be in the NICU and um, not have that experience to the, that that you assume every parent has to where like you deliver and then you get to take your baby home it's very very difficult and I'm just so grateful that although I know my baby will be born prematurely, I no longer have to have to go through having him be born at 25, 26, 28 weeks, you know? So I'm extremely, extremely, extremely grateful for that. I don't take every day that I am pregnant for granted, that is for sure. And um, I just... I have no words guys <laughs> no words so I had an ultrasound on Monday today is Wednesday so uh, two days ago and my baby is looking great he is growing really good he weighed in at three pounds and nine ounces so he is getting there he um, has been <laughs> head down for quite some time but he's definitely definitely preparing himself my belly is like super super low so Definitely can tell that I'm carrying a three and a half pound baby <laughs> and getting really big. Um, my lower back has started to hurt. Today was probably the most it's it's bothered me, but I have amazing nurses, so they brought me over those like heating pads and stuff like that. Oh, excuse me. But aside from some lower back pain, which is expected obviously this far into the pregnancy, everything has been amazing. I feel great. I um have continued to just like focus on all the good that is happening and um, you know I'm human this is a tough situation there are days where I have to work a little bit harder to remain positive and to um, acknowledge that what I am doing is for the better for both of us and um, I mean I think that for being here for the time that I have I've done quite well and I wouldn't have been able to to, to get to the point where I am today and still feel good and not, <laughs> I haven't lost my mind just yet. I'm not depressed if it wasn't for my faith and um, just remaining positive and focusing on all of the good that I have going on because I have so much to be grateful for. So let's see. Um, I believe that we have... 27 days left if I were to stay pregnant until my delivery date which is scheduled for Halloween 27 days that is crazy I, I still can't believe that's like that's less than a month I will not be pregnant for more than a month so um, I have no words to describe how that feels it's extremely exciting to know that I will meet my baby you know very soon and um, a little overwhelming at the same time this is my last pregnancy and I just want to make sure that despite everything I'm enjoying and embracing every single bit of it and um, yeah just no words no words um, let's see aside from that update everything has been pretty pretty stable. I haven't had any more bleeds since last week on Monday. Um, I have been contracting a little bit more. They've gotten a little bit more intense. There's days when I'm put on the monitor and they're being picked up a lot more frequently. So 
you know, with contractions come bleeding, so we're, everybody's just kind of, like, alert and ready, and um, I just have such an amazing team of nurses and doctors, and everybody's very, um, so caring, oh my gosh, like, I just, I can't, I, I can't even get started on them. Um, one of my nurses, who is just, like, an angel she she brought me this movie to watch today called the shack i beyond recommend it it is the most beautiful movie i have ever watched and i feel like we can all easily relate to this movie because we've all in some some part of our lives some point of our lives we've all um faced a difficult time that makes us like question our faith and all that stuff so you guys get a chance to definitely watch The Shack. Uh, so let's see. I think aside from that, I don't really have um, anything else to update. My family has been doing so good. I mean, as good as they can be. My girls are amazing. And um, seeing them every day is like literally the highlight of my day. And um, it's been really good. Uh... I want to do a video of like what things I do to kind of keep me busy in case in the future there's a mom out there facing the same scenario as I am. Um, hopefully I can help her out with, you know, little things that I have found to be helpful. Um, what I have been doing recently is I've been, I've knitted, no, I've crocheted so many hats for my baby and I've made some things for my girls that... Um, I mean, they, my baby only needs so many hats, so I've started to crochet some for the NICU, so I'm going to be donating those to the babies there, and it's given me, um, I don't even know the word to describe it, I, uh, like, a good sense, I don't know, it's, it's made me feel really good to know that I can turn some, like, my situation into, like, something positive to where I can, if I, if I wasn't here, I wouldn't be knitting babies hats for the NICU. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I'm glad that I'm able to um, think of ways to find positivity and um, be able to give, you know? I don't know. I don't know. But um, it, just, it makes me feel good, and um, I'm glad that I that that's something that I can give to, to um, a little baby because it's tough having your baby be in the NICU and any tiny little bit of positivity helps just to know that somebody has thought of you and your child and just just wants to um just just cares basically <laughs> I don't even sometimes I can't I it's hard for me to put my feelings into words but yeah um so yeah I think aside from that that's it guys um, let's hope that we can have a, I don't know, I'll probably do like a 34 week update unless something happens. Um, and yeah, but aside from that guys, all the updates I have, thank you guys so much for, for, um, just tuning in to like care to know how we are doing. It's, I'm so grateful, um, for like the prayers for all that stuff i i strongly 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 believe in the power of prayer and i'm just so incredibly grateful that you guys have kept my baby and i in your prayers and um i'm so happy to be able to share this journey with you guys and hopefully continue to do so so with that being said i will leave you guys here with this and definitely keep updating you guys and hopefully see you guys next time